I'm in this place now, and this is what I deal with with Nick fans too, where the good news is that for seven straight games, they would lose, but they would be up by double figures and find a way to lose. Now, all of a sudden, for three straight games, they go up by double figures and they keep, they, they stay where they are and they win these games. They're still three and a half games out of a play in spot. Jeff Van Gundy told us a couple of weeks ago. It's not for in his mind. He thinks it's it's not a great thing. It's a bad thing if the Knicks make the play in because they need to see how far away they are. Do you subscribe to that kind of thinking? Well, I mean, a couple of things. You know, I'm watching Dallas the Dallas game last night. The one thing I think we can all take away from this is that this team hasn't quit on tips. I I, I think, and that's kind of. You know, we'll probably hear about his job security at the end of the season here, but I think this team is still playing for him. I think that there's a there's a body of work there here. I I think it's it's a fine line you walk on. You know, there are nights maybe that um, that Clipper game or if it's the Phoenix game where, yeah, you're you're playing your your pace, you're put in situations where you have to play your young players here, and I think there's certainly certain situations with Julius playing at a high level and last night in Dallas where. You do want to see because let's face it, you're auditioning them probably for another team when you get into the off season. And I don't think they're going to make the play in. I, I really don't. I think there's, you know, unless you catch Charlotte, I think Atlanta will probably string along in some games here. And I always said, like, the one thing you always want to do is, you know, towards the end, you don't want to play out the string. You want to put guys in positions when either you're playing winning basketball games or you're playing close games. It helps for R.J. Barrett. It helps, you know, if we see Cam Reddish, Jericho Sims, Emmanuel Quickly, guys like that. So, um, and I think it helps the coach. I mean, if, if anything, if you're the front office and, and you're basically just playing out the rest of the season, then you're probably thinking that these guys, that they've that, that Tibbs has lost these guys here. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a fine line to do it and still not get in the play in and, and, and get enough out of it for, um, for what's going to be left on your roster next year. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. If they were an older team, different, like it's the Lakers, it's a much different feel, but because a lot of the characters that are, are going through this and learning how to win are 23, 22, 21 years old. There is obviously the, you know, Julius Randall, Alec Burks, the older players that are, also a big part of this, but because these young guys are going through this, that part's important. But yeah, we'll have a lot to talk about in the offseason with this franchise. You know that better than I do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.